Hi everyone, welcome back to another Therapy Tip Tuesday. I'm Miss Mary Kate. You might recognize me from the Wanta or Jericho offices, and I'm going to be with you all for the month of March. Um, my first therapy tip is actually a really fun activity that can be used for targeting language goals such as following directions, requesting, um, turn taking if you're doing it with more than one child, or even um, identifying different colors, labeling colors, or any animals that you happen to use in this activity. So my activity for you guys today is sensory bags. So what I have here is shampoo that I had around my house that I wasn't using. I put it in a sandwich bag. You could also use hair gel from the dollar store um, and put it in here. Um, what you could do with the hair gel. If it's clear, you can put in some um, food coloring drops and have the child request which color that they would like to put in and they can smush it around to make your sensory bag any color that you want. Um, so what I have for us to put in our sensory bags today is I have these little animal erasers. So I have foxes, some moose, um, an owl, and then I have just a different color, little plastic beads that we can put into. Um, so with following directions, how you can use the sensory bags is you can say, hey, why don't we put something purple in here? And then you would have the child, they have a choice really, I have some purple mousse. I have a purple bead. They can pick. They have to go find something that's purple. Pick it up and then you say, very good. And then they can drop it in here. So I'm gonna pick the purple mousse. Put it in, awesome. Let's pick something else out. Let's do something blue. So we have a couple different color blue beads that they could pick from. Um, you could even do two-step directions. You, you could say, let's do something blue and something yellow. So we have some blue beads, we have some yellow beads. So they have to go pick out the blue, the yellow, say this is what I wanna put in, let's do it. They could do more than one if you want. If you didn't specify, that's okay. You could specify number two, that works on numbers then. Um, something else that you could do, you could make the diff the directions a little bit more complex. You could say, first, let's pick an animal to put in and then let's pick a bead to put in. So picking those different objects, I'm gonna put in a fox and then I'm gonna put in a bead. I'm gonna put in a green bead. Awesome, all right. Once you're done with all of those, I should mention too, um, you can have them request. I want, the, you can hold them away from them. You can have them request. I want the owl. Awesome, great asking, awesome job. Let's put it in. And then if you're doing it with more than one child, you can have them take turns. You're gonna go first and then you get a turn. So having them have that social skill of taking turns, they can't just grab anything that they want. They have to wait their turn. After you're done putting everything in your bag, seal it all up. And I know what you're thinking, what's gonna stop my child from just ripping the bag open? It's gonna get everywhere, it's gonna be such a mess, it's gonna be more of a hassle than it is fun. Take some duct tape, put it over so they can't open it. And then they can smush away. You can even use a sensory bag um, to find the objects in it after you put them all in. So, hey, let's find an animal. Here's an owl, good job. Let's go find the fox. Found it, awesome job. So sensory bags are so fun too because you can make them really whatever you want. You could do ocean theme, put some blue food coloring in there. You could put some little shells if you have any little fish or sharks. Um, that you could put in. That would be so fun. You could do outer space even. Put some purple, some blue, whatever colors that you want. Um, smush it all around. Now you have a galaxy. You could put in some stars. You can put in some sparkles even if you want. If you have any aliens, spaceships, um, whatever you really want to put in your sensory bag, you can. So now this is all done. Your child is going to be busy for hours. And they just 
worked on their language skills without even realizing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tip um, and I'll see you next time.